Have your hairline receding or are you going bald? Have you tried nearly everything to get your hair to grow back? In 9 cases out of 10, you most likely have. We would go to incredible lengths to hang on to our shiny hair, but sometimes we're not as fortunate. There doesn't seem to be a solution for balding, not even salon services or natural cures. Balding has always been thought to be inevitable. You're destined if it runs in your family. Surprisingly, though, recent study indicates different. Let's talk about the reasons of balding in today's video and address a frequently asked question, is it really preventable? Now let's get going. What is balding specifically? What is balding exactly? The average person loses between 50 and 100 hairs, however almost everyone loses some hair. However, thinned or excessively lost hair may indicate baldness. Balding typically results from age and is genetically connected, while in some situations it may be caused by a medical issue. By the time they are 50, over 85% of men begin to bald, while those with a hereditary predisposition will start to show symptoms even before they turn 21. Additionally, approximately 50% of women will eventually go bald. The cycle of hair growth holds the solution. Cycle of hair growth. A hair growth cycle typically consists of three phases. The period known as the anagen phase, which lasts for two to four years, is when hair grows. On your scalp, the anagen phase accounts for about 90% of the hair. The second stage, referred to as the catagen phase or transition phase, lasts for two to three weeks and is characterized by the shrinkage of the hair follicles. The telogen phase, sometimes referred to as the resting phase, is the third and last stage. The hair sheds throughout this period, usually within three to four months. New hair begins to grow once the hair falls out. Balding, however, is the outcome when hair loss outweighs hair growth. What then causes baldness? Why do people go bald? Balding in men and women is primarily caused by androgenic alopecia. 95% of cases of baldness result in permanent hair loss as a result of this illness. Although it's not always a disease, androgens, heredity, and occasionally aging naturally can all contribute to it. Numerous factors related to androgenetic alopecia are influenced by genetics. It probably affects the enzymes that convert testosterone into DHT, an endogenous androgen sex hormone and steroid. Your hair follicles will begin to shrink if your DHT levels are too high or if they become overly sensitive to DHT. This disorder causes the anagen period of hair growth to shorten causing hair loss to occur significantly early than anticipated. Androgenetic alopecia develops gradually over time. Men have thinning and a receding hairline as a result. It usually manifests in women as scalp thinning throughout. Additional causes of baldness. Additional causes of baldness. Balding has other causes as well. For example, the hair follicles may be stressed by hairstyles like braids, ponytails, cornrows, and extensions. Hair loss is the result of the constant stress. While this kind of hair loss can be reversed in its early stages, if it persists for an extended length of time, it becomes irreversible. Hair loss can also result from physical trauma or shock, including illnesses and surgeries. This normally starts to grow back two or three months after the incident, although it usually takes that long. Alopecia areata is one example of an autoimmune condition that can lead your body to attack your hair follicles, damaging the roots and possibly causing permanent hair loss. This is all very good information, but does baldness have a treatment? Is there a treatment for baldness? While most people may believe that becoming bald is inevitable, this isn't always the case. Transforming growth factor beta may be a treatment for baldness, according to a recent study, TGF beta. According to study, your immune system cells and blood cells can be controlled by a class of protein known as cytokines. It functions as a moderator for the cycle of hair development. It determines the growth and death dates of the hair follicles. This treatment strength, which functions as a threshold, is its main advantage. Your hair will fall out and your cells will die when you have too much TGF beta. Hair grows when there is an insufficient amount of the chemical which causes the cells to divide and grow. A study demonstrated that it was possible to regulate TGF beta levels in order to promote scalp hair growth. There are more general ramifications to comprehending the protein's capacity for regeneration. 
Studying the TGF beta characteristics can also hasten wound healing because hair follicles are a source of stem cells. Similar to a blank canvas, stem cells allow your body to program various cell types. Hair follicles are special because they are the only organ that continuously regenerates. That is, even in the absence of harm. A hair follicle that falls out does not damage the stem cell. The stem cells start to divide and form into a new follicle as soon as they receive the signal necessary for regeneration. Scientists intend to concentrate on these special regeneration cells and contribute to the development of fast wound healing techniques. Being able to see a remedy is a positive thing. But what if we could stop the problem before it started? Avoiding baldness. Stopping hair loss. There isn't much you can do to stop balding if it is inherited. However, there are other avoidable reasons of baldness. Hairdo Your hairdo is very important. One thing you can do to prevent damaging your hair follicles is to loosen your hairdo. Use of appliances like curling irons and hair straighteners should be avoided as they might exacerbate root damage. Scalp massages. These can be beneficial. Regular scalp massages have been found in studies to enhance hair development by increasing blood circulation. However, you must be careful not to overuse these notifications. After massaging the hair follicles and applying, giving up smoking them when under duress may cause damage to them. Giving up smoking has benefits. There is a connection between smoking and hair loss, according to research. Thus, in order to stop hair loss, if you smoke frequently, you should try to stop. Neo medication pay attention to the drugs you take. If you realize that you're losing more hair than before you started taking any particular medicine, you should speak with your doctor. Diet Your diet has a vital role in preventing baldness. They can prescribe alternative drugs or recommend preventive measures. Your hair follicles will not receive the vitamins and minerals required for them to stay strong if your diet is deficient in certain essential components. In fact, one study found that women who consumed more omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids may have seen an increase in hair growth. You should consume a diet high in omega fatty acids, antioxidants, biotin, iron, and protein on a daily basis. To help decrease hair loss and increase hair density, try increasing your intake of eggs, spinach, fatty salmon, and berries in your diet. There are several elements that influence hair development ranging from genetics to food. Are you curious to learn more about natural hair growth? Let's watch a few more videos to continue the discussion. Should we? View these 10 natural hair growth tips. Try our video on 13 natural ways to grow hair again and ignore bald spots as well. Feel free to click one. Alternatively, watch both to get more information about the health of your hair. Do you believe that baldness is inevitable? Tell us in the comments section below.